connected to the air priority control box and the control set connected to the C socket of the control box. The unit is connected to the battery. We are going to turn it on by long press of this power button. The sensor is detecting an obstacle, so the parking detection is on. It blinks green, uh, saying I'm in parking mode. You can change options of the system online with the USB key, but you can also change it manually by entering the menu with the long press of the menu button. When it turns yellow, you are inside the menu. Plug in the USB drive. Enter menu. Go to service code entry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Enter. White menu. Enter. 1, 2, enter. One, two, three, four, enter. One, two, three, four, five, six, enter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, enter. It's already Blinking blue meaning I'm ready to defend from laser sources. If you unplug the USB drive, it will be parking only. We will shut it off. Unplug the USB drive, power it on. And it blinks green, it will never go to blue mode. To go to blue mode, there must be this USB drive because there's a key, special key file on it. Okay, here's the key. Key is plugged in. The unit checked this. And now it's blinking blue meaning I'm ready to defend. If you're using this privacy key lock, you can also go into the menu. One, two, three, enter. So we have again activated the dark mode. When it exits the menu, the LED will stop blinking. So dark mode is active. Sensor is working. Okay, we have muted it. If you short press this button, It's muted, short press it again. Okay, it's working. It blinks because there's a parking obstacle. If there is no parking obstacle there, it doesn't blink because it's in dark mode. You, we will shut it down. Then again we can power it on. Okay now. The unit will stop blinking after 10 seconds because dark mode is active. Now here you see it's not blinking, dark mode is active. If you want to turn it on you have to go to menu, 1, 2, 3, enter. It will exit menu and, and it will continue to blink.